everyone. I hope you are all safe and well. Thank you to the team behind TEDx Save Your School and congratulations on pulling off this event despite the challenges brought by COVID-19. It is in gatherings like this that the best minds of your generation can shape a better normal for all. So to everyone joining the conversation today, thank you for committing your time and energy to be here. COVID-19 has really changed the world as we know it. Our daily routines, our schooling, and even our relationships have shifted. A year has passed, and yet our current reality has not changed. Cases of COVID-19 infections are still rising, people are losing their jobs, and populations are on the edge of poverty and hunger. The pandemic has truly disrupted almost every aspect of our lives, and we are left anxious and doubtful about the future. Throughout all of this, we ask ourselves, how do we navigate these changes and uncertainties? What is the role of the youth in times like this? Where are we most needed? Where do we even start? All these questions have to do with reimagining the future, with building a better normal. There are no easy, ready-made answers. But like I always say, there is no better way to respond to the current situation but to move outward and forward. Outward by resisting the impulse to shrink back to our bubbles of self-importance and old affinities. By extending yourselves and widening your circles of service and compassion. And forward by gritting our teeth and doing the little things that inch us closer to our goals. Taking that leap of faith, striving to be better each day. As young people, this can be as simple as studying hard, honing our craft, or directing all our actions towards our chosen advocacies, which benefit our fellow men. This is what you are doing by choosing to be here, combining ideas and building consensus with fellow thinkers, advocates, and leaders. Rising to this challenge requires more people to be involved, given pathways to contribute to society and empowered. Your idealism, energy, and fresh approaches provide new solutions to solving problems, forging new paths where old ones seem blocked. I myself have been fortunate to witness this empowering mindset in action. Many of the volunteers in our work to respond to the COVID-19 pandemic come from the ranks of young people like you, and all our initiatives, whether it's the free shuttle services and dorms for medical frontliners, community learning hubs for students in need, or relief operations for those affected by the recent typhoons in our country, became successful only because of the feedback, the dedication, the openness of the youth. This is not to say that our path forward will be easy. Alam ko na hindi madaling maging isang leader, lalo na sa panahon ngayon. Maraming roadblocks na susubukin talaga ang character mo. At times, it can feel that we are fighting the good fight, registering our presence in the battlefield with no prospects for triumph at the end. But one thing I've learned is that at times when the horizon seems difficult to see, we can find renewed strength when we look beside us. We are never alone in this journey. Maraming handang tumulong, tumugon, at gawin ang dapat gawin. Marami tayong mga kahanay sa paniniwala at pangarap. Nasa isa't isa ang lakas natin. I hope that you will hold on to this truth as well as you move forward in your own efforts. Your next steps now should be clear. Keep engaging, keep moving with others, keep widening and strengthening your networks. We will all need to pull together to harmonize our actions so that we can achieve our collective aspirations. And even if the pandemic hinders us from being together physically, continue to have meaningful conversations like this online. Use technology to your advantage and harness it to speed up and scale up. Do what you can in the here and now. Exhibit grit and compassionate resolve in even the smallest of tasks. In this endeavor, there are no insignificant gestures. Every step counts. Always remember, 
You are not mere spectators or leaders in the making. You are never too young to make a difference. After all, age does not impose limits in your capacity for innovation, for compassion, for service. Your presence here is proof positive that you are already hard at work charting a bright future for us all towards our vision of a society that is fairer and kinder, that is more humane, more inclusive, that recognizes the dignity especially of the most vulnerable among us. Much work remains, but with young people like you leading the way, I have full faith that we can and will bring our dreams to fruition. Maraming salamat, mabuhay kayong lahat.